The flywheel is equipped with a friction surface. The clutch disc has friction surfaces too. When the friction surface of the flywheel and the friction surface of the clutch disc are brought into contact with each other, the clutch disc rotates. The clutch disc is made of several components, of which the important ones are the hub, which is riveted to the disc with a cover plate, and the friction material installed on both sides. In the past, friction material was made of asbestos and other harmful substances. Today, friction surfaces are made of ceramics and substances that provide a high coefficient of friction. In general, Cars for daily use are equipped with clutches that feature springs to damper shatter to achieve an easy operation and to reduce the impact to the gearbox at the engagement. The clutch disc is connected to the gearbox through the gearbox shaft. Consequently, the wheels of the vehicle only rotate when the flywheel is in contact with the clutch disc. The pressure plate is needed for engaging and disengaging the clutch disc. The pressure plate is riveted to the flywheel. As a result, the pressure plate rotates when the flywheel rotates. Let's take a closer look in order to see what happens in this important component. A clutch release bearing is positioned in front of a diaphragm spring. When the release bearing is pushed into the spring, the inner portion of the spring is moved in the direction of the clutch disc, whereas the other portion of the spring is moved in the other direction. Consequently, the clutch is disengaged because the pressure disc is mounted in a flexible manner to the casing. So, the clutch disc can be locked between the flywheel and the pressure plate when the release bearing is released, and it can be released when the bearing is pushed into the diaphragm spring. The mechanical energy produced by the engine is transmitted to the gearbox when the clutch release bearing is released and the clutch disc is engaged.